Ron Eastcon is executive producer, writer, and director of Blackstone, the award-winning TV series about life on a fictional First Nation reserve. The program is broadcast on APTN. Ron Eastcon on the show this afternoon. Hey, Ron, how are you? Good. How are you doing, Jeremy? Thanks Good. Well, it's, yeah. Thanks a lot for joining us. It's finally here, Ron. The fifth and final season of Blackstone tomorrow night. Has the time gone by fast for you and the crew? Yeah, I, it's incredible. I mean, to think it was been five years already is uh, it always just is a dose of reality. But it's been a really great five seasons, and uh, this season is another great one. So. Well, Ron, we're going into its fifth and final season on APTN. Why decide, you know, after five years, this is it? I think, you know, uh, between, you know, talking with APTN and myself, so we just felt that we've taken the show to so many great new places and, you know, really uncovered a lot of kind of interesting facts that were happening in the communities. And I think that, you know, we just reached a, a, a mutual agreement that, you know, it was time to move on. And, uh, you know, we wanted to go out, you know, when it was, uh, you know, the audience and, and everything, the popularity of the show was very strong. And I think that... Um, I think that it's been a great run, and I'm very thankful for those last five years. Now, tell us about the original vision of Blackstone. Tell us how the series was created. Well, I think the, the heart of the series uh, when it was created was that it was, you know, set up to really kind of uh, add a new dimension to Aboriginal storytelling and the fact that, uh, you know, it, it was controlled and uh, directed and created by Aboriginal people. And... You know, it, it, the goal was always to promote a dialogue within the Aboriginal community and non-Aboriginal community. So it's done that and more. So, uh, you know, we, we've we've got out of it, you know, way more than I think we ever expected. Ronnie Scott on the show this afternoon. Uh, you know, Ron, as a writer of the show, uh, where did you get your inspiration from? I think one of the hallmarks of Blackstone is its raw authenticity and you know, most of the storylines are either taken right out of my own life or they're ripped from the headlines. And it's a combination of, you know, what that perception of, you know, what, how I grew up and also how, uh, you know, the, the stories in the media have really kind of propelled dialogue about what was going on in communities. Uh, season two, CFW was invited to a bar scene that you were shooting at a, a location downtown Edmonton. Your actors, uh, when we went there and did a live uh, shot from there, had amazing chemistry on set, and it shows on screen. Yeah, I, the cast, uh, you know, of this show, they really have gelled together. And what's so exciting is there's so many elements that they can relate to uh, in their characters' lives, uh, you know, reflected in their own experiences. And that kind of, uh, you know, uh, experience and authenticity really does come out on screen. And the talent, it just, uh, it's been a joy to work with them. So the premiere of season five is tomorrow night on APTN. Ron, do you seclude yourself and watch it, or do you make it a big affair? <laughs> Yeah, no, we have a premiere, and uh, just as it happens this season, it's almost at the same time as it airs out east, I believe. And, uh, no, it's uh, it's one of those things where it's up on a big screen and it's a whole different experience, but it's great to see everyone and just retouch, you know, relationships that I've just I've gone so fond of over the years. And it's a really just a great time to celebrate what an amazing uh you know, run we've had with the show. You know, one thing I really like about the show is the theme music. Yeah. You know, it, it's one of those things, you know, there, there's so many different elements to the show and, uh, you know, different things uh, appeal to different, you know, groups of people. And we try to, you know, make it as entertaining and engaging as possible. And that's for sure a huge component of it. Uh, speaking of theme music, there will be a soundtrack available this week uh, featuring Blackstone music. Who are some of the artists and music on that album, and where can folks grab it? It'll be on iTunes, Apple Music, Google Play, Spotify. And, uh, you know, some of the artists are um, George Leach, which, uh, you know, people know of, Derek Miller. And then we have Inez Jasper, you know, Johnny Hetherington. And, uh, you know, there's some new artists and some more established artists. And it's just, you know, it's something that I really wanted to do for such a long time. And, uh, you know, we have local artists, that, you know, like Phoenix and uh, we also have Relic. And so there's, you know, the North Stars, Helen Back, and, you know, of course, our series uh, composer, Mike Shields, who we worked on with uh, the intro music, which is haunting still to this day.
So I know you're just wrapping up uh, season five of Blackstone, the finale uh, s- a season coming up here. What's next for you, Ron? Well, obviously, as a content creator, I have ideas, and I'm thankful for that. Uh, you know, we've been trying to cook up a, a new series for, uh, you know, a year because you always have to keep as many irons in the fire as possible. And so, uh, you know, one-hour dramas you know, what I love, so that's where, where I'm developing. And uh, we have some really, you know, hopeful prospects in development. And, you know, part of the process is that you, you continue to develop these projects and, it, you know, it takes time and hopefully we could get, you know, another series going. I cannot wait to see how Season 5 wraps things up. Ronnie Scott, Executive Producer, Writer and Director of Blackstone. Thanks for doing this, Ron. It's been a, it's been a fun journey. Well, thanks again, Jeremy, for all your support over the years, and uh, I really encourage people to watch it. It's, uh, this season has got a lot of great stuff in it.